fresh start worlds have just been released. These servers are separate from the main game, for new players to experience what it would have been like when Old School RuneScape was first released, simulating the birth of Old School RuneScape. These worlds are completely separate from the main game, requiring a brand new account to be able to enter. After the six months, the fresh start worlds will merge with the regular worlds, meaning that you get to keep all of your items and your account's progress. So I have made it my goal to make 1 billion GP on these new fresh servers. And for me to be able to achieve this, I've had to craft a master plan. Which brings us to stage one. Subscribe. <laughs> and please like this video. Yes, please. Fresh start world, let's go. For stage one, the goal is to obtain the Dorgashin crossbow. And I had to do this as fast as possible because the later stages of the plan are very time sensitive. And because everything's fresh, including the economy, I have to do everything myself. For me to do this, I have to complete the quest, The Lost Tribe, which requires the completion of Goblin Diplomacy, Rune Mysteries, 13 Agility, 13 Thieving, and 17 Mining. I stocked up on runes. I then pickpocketed men until 5 Thieving, committed a tactical suicide in order to regenerate my health and run energy, and then I started Rune Mystery. The cheese is on the table and nobody's gone for it. After yoinking some cheese, I purchased myself the Chronicle and then proceeded to Falador to buy myself some woad leaves. After this, I picked up some onions and snake grass and then teleported to Varrock to pick some red berries. We actually managed to get six red berries so fast there. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. I thought everybody would go for them. I teleported with a lever in Edgeville for fast travel to Ardoin and stole an inventory of cakes. Please don't one-shot me. Okay, please, I beg. Oh. <laughs> First of many quests to be completed. <laughs> 29 attack off the bat. But the reason we actually did this was for the thieving level. And because we're next to the Tree Gnome Village, we're gonna do this quest as well. And I should get some very nice attack XP here. 35 attack already. We have arrived! We are gonna buy some goodies. Dwell berries, bucket of milk, and chocolate dust. 15 agility. This should be Plague City completed. And we are now level 4. 15 mining from level 1. We only need two more levels now until we're level 17. And that is all of the requirements to do this quest. 36k. Very nice. My account, Take My Silk, is going to be running back to the silk stalls. And he is going to be getting me many more. I've just got finished with selling up all of the silk. And we currently have a 27k cash stack. Which is pretty good, to be honest. 17 mining. Not bad, not bad. And now we are going to make our way back to Lumbridge. I now have all of the level requirements for the Lost Tribe. I just need to complete Goblin Diplomacy and finish off Rune Mystery. And there is Rune Mystery completed. And this is why I needed all the red berries, the onions, and the woad leaves. So I could get myself the dyes. Goblin Diplomacy. This is going to be some nice hit points XP. I thought I'd sneak this in while I've still got a few minutes left on the home teleport. And there we go. Four quest points and 25 HP. I then stocked up on some range supplies. Really enjoying this so far. Feel like it's Christmas or something, you know? I love it when you make a new account and everything feels so significant. I just wanted to do that to free up a little bit of inventory space, to be honest. And uh, I'm going to get back to questing now. There we go. Lost Tribe has been completed, and now it's time to go and grab ourselves this lovely Dorgashin crossbow. 2,000 golds. We have a new max hit. We're hitting freeze now. Two is no longer the biggest number. 20 range. We're killing Minotaurs. This is actually my Slayer task right now as well, so we should hopefully get a couple Slayer levels from this. Big level coming in. 28 range, and the Dorgashin crossbow can now be equipped. This thing is going to be so much better than using the Willow Shortbow. And now we are on to stage two, obtaining 100,000 coins, which conveniently I had been working on this entire time. You see, while I was questing and training fresh checks, my alt account, Take My Silk, had been stood at the silk store for over five hours. So all I had to do was trade the silk over and then start selling it back to the silk merchant. 100,000 gold. 
Which puts us into the third and final stage. Remember at the start of the video where I said that the later stages were very time sensitive? Well that's because the plan the entire time was to go to the Revenants. Which is why I needed the 100k for entry fee. You see, while everybody is such a low level, it actually means that everybody has a very low KO potential. Basically meaning, the later I leave it get into the caves, the more likely it is that I will die. And to go a step further, once people unlock Teleblock, which will probably be within the first two to three days, the caves will no longer be risk-free. Meaning that I have two days to make as much money as possible. These worlds could potentially be fully camped down by teams, which might very well be the case, I am unsure. Luckily for me though, my escape is right here, so it's gonna take like a second to get out if I need to. We got our loot and bag, and we've got some really, really nice food as well. This gives me a little more confidence. Huge, absolutely huge, two rune plate legs. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely insane. I've only killed seven and I've already got rune plate legs. They out for just under 40,000 gold each. We just made 80K guaranteed from that one kill. Stealing all the silk and selling it back was completely worth it. That is what we like to see. I'm probably gonna be doing this all night tonight, so I'm hoping that we can make a lot of money from this. Two dragon long swords. Holy shit. That is big, big money right there. So that's 120k if I elk them. Level 40 range. Which now means we can equip our green dragon hide. The upgrade that I've been waiting for. We actually look a little bit fierce now. I'm gonna go grab myself some more bone bolts because at the moment I'm down to under a thousand. This is how the tab looks right now. That is amazing. Bracelet of Ethereum. So goddamn good. That is really, really nice. I'm actually getting a lot more drops here on these imps. I've only done 16 kills so far and I've had three drops already. This is insane. Constantly getting drops right now. I think these imps are better than the goblins. They're really fast to kill. They respawn in 10 seconds instead of 40 or 50. I've killed 33 so far and I've already made 288k. The results are in. 130 Revenant Goblins, we made 492k. And 131 Revenant Implins, we made 596k. I think that I probably got a little bit unlucky on the Goblins in that many kills. But, and this is a big but, I can kill the Imps about three times faster. I just did all of those kills in one inventory. My looting bag is completely filled with loot, as you can see. The Revenant Goblins are probably better for more loot per kill, but if I can kill the Imps three times faster, I'm gonna be killing the Imps from now on. Not to mention, look at all of the food that I managed to walk away with too. Oh, somebody has had the same idea as me. If any of you guys didn't know, there is a general store in the Bandit Camp within the Wilderness where you can sell items for the High Elk value, which is really useful because I currently don't have 55 magic for High Elk. At this point in time, I had 11,000 coins in the bank, and I decided it was time to sell off some of the alcohols, which there was quite a lot. You don't even want to know how much these cost me. Far too much. But we have 100. It is crazy how fast you train your prayer on this altar. 43 prayer. Don't think that we have enough bones to get 44. I went and purchased the bones I needed. Eagle Eye is a huge thing for me right now, especially with killing the Pyrophene Revenants, which are actually proving to be really difficult. I just went ahead and bought myself some more dragon bones for 3,000 gold a pop. And there we go, 44 prayer has been achieved. Holy crap, I might get 45 at this rate. We now have Eagle Eye, and should make my time killing revenants a lot better. We're heading back to the Rev Caves. I've got over a thousand Ethereum inside of my bracelet right now, so I really can't die. At this point in time, I decided I would kill the Revenant Pyrophenes, which obviously comes with better loot in general because it's a higher level Revenant, but it did come with some downsides. They were a lot more difficult to kill. Unlike the Imps and the Goblins who I could farm and I could gain more effort, each Pyrophene that I killed reduced the amount of effort I had in my bracelet. But the most compelling reason to kill these Pyrophenes was that I was only getting 10,000 range XP from killing the imps and the goblins, whereas the pyre fiends were 20 to 25,000 range XP per hour. Faster XP with the price of having to use more effort. 
<laughs> okay, holy shit, the ancient totem. That is our very first mega rare. If I cannot trade it with the emblem trader, then I can just sell it to one of the stores or I can alk it for 600k, which is really nice considering I just spent 300k on getting my prayer level up. <laughs> e, let's go. That's very nice. Dragon plate legs. I can sell those for 162k. I've just woken up after a couple hour nap. Back to the grind bright and early. And that is definitely something that brightens my day. I've got so much right now. And I need to sell the ancient totem. This is like over a solid mill in loot. I just got uncut dragon stones. The highest level crafter on the high scores is 66. I have a combat of bracelet and a glory ready to go. I think I might be able to bring my emblem here from the dialogue that I just read there. Nah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a loser. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's awesome. It does work. It does work. Yes, let's go. I'm so glad that I tested that. I'm not going to lie. I was actually just going to go and sell it to the shop for 600k or have somebody high alk it for me. So we just got an extra 400k from that. Very nice. Dragon plate skirt. Very nice. Free money. We have returned to the shop. I have some goodies to sell. Hey, do you know, I think I'm just going to get rid of it all in this world just so I can be done with it. And that is an extra 420k. I've killed so many of these at this point. I've made 5.57 mil. These levels are getting harder and harder to get. Well, that is 60 range coming in. I think I'm just gonna go ahead, pull the trigger, and just give them what they're asking. These are creeping up non-stop. This is basically what my plan is gonna be, so I kind of need these runes. The nature runes are in 347 GP per rune. It kills me to see that, but I am still killing the revenants, so I should hopefully make some more money. Yep, second ancient totem. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna hunt this man down real quick and see if I can get the cash right now. I've literally gone around the entire dungeon looking for this guy. But this is gonna be a nice 1 million GP. And there we go. All in all, I'm very happy to say that everything went according to plan. As it stands, I am completely finished with the early rev grind. In total, we killed 955 imps, 173 goblins, and 481 pyre fiends totaling at 8.7 mil this managed to get me 63 range which was rank 3 at the time and i spent over 4 million gold of the profits on the runes in my inventory which i'll be using in my next video to continue the master plan